I chose the topics of the saints because it seems like no matter what tradition you're from, and so, and what I mean by that is even if you are from a non-Catholic tradition or even a non-Christian tradition, strangely enough, in my research on saints, I found all kinds of saints in different tradition. You know, do you know that the word S-A-N-T, sant, in Sanskrit means righteous one, holy one, the one who has seen the truth? There are people in many traditions who are kind of held up, you know, as examples of that particular belief or tradition, okay? And so when I speak of a saint, I'm gonna speak of him or her in that way, but I'm also gonna speak of him or her in the way that we traditionally mean as Catholic Christians. And what I also wanna tell you up front is that when we see, especially our last Holy Father, John Paul II, he was a saint factory, wasn't he? I mean, every time you turned around, he was making a saint, right? As a matter of fact, he got criticized for it, didn't he? You know, a lot of people say, well, how many saints is this guy gonna make? You know, to which I say, is that a bad thing? I mean, you know, what, what's the bad part about all that? You know, about recognizing the heroic virtue of our brothers and sisters who have gone before us. But the main point is this, the church recognizes the sainthood of a person. They don't make a saint, okay? It's not like they have this little stamp and they go around stamping people and, and all of a sudden in heaven a stamp appears in their forehead and they're, and they're a saint. No, through a process of investigation, they, which takes quite a bit of time, I might add, and is quite carefully conducted, I might add, uh, they arrive at a conclusion that this person or this other particular person, man or woman, is now undisputably in heaven. Because really, that's a description of a saint. A saint is a person who's in heaven. So by that description, all of us are called to be in heaven. Therefore, all are called to be saints, right? I mean, that's our call to holiness. That's the call to sainthood. A one, a, 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 I think it was a 20th century theologian, Leon Blois, who's a French guy, very deep philosopher, said, when at the end of our lives, when, we, when we're in bed or when wherever we are that we're doing our dying, or detaching ourselves from the world, the one main tragedy will have been not to have been a saint. It won't be, oh darn, I wish I worked those 60 more hours a week. Oh darn, I wish I'd made that uh, an extra million dollars come in handy now. <laughs> no, obviously not. What, we're, what are we going to be thinking on our deathbed? We're going to be thinking about our family, about the, our loved ones, and one of the ones that really give purpose and value to our lives, and then we're going to be looking ahead, right? And, and therefore, we're going to be praying and hoping, and it's going to be the most devout desire of our hearts to see the Lord face to face. And to see the Lord face to face means to be a saint. Okay, so that that's, should be our starting point as to what that means. 